Hello, hello everyone. It's Shelly with Chalk Tour. We're chalking history with another demo today. Once you see me, say hello. It's Tuesday night. Let's get things sprinkled out here. Here we go. Say hello. Hey, Mom. How are you? All right. Let's see here. Just need to get this sprinkled out to a couple places and we'll get started, guys. I'm good. Thank Hi, Kathy. How are you? Thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Hello, Jane Ann. How are you tonight? Well, hello, Miss Jennifer. How are you? How is everybody doing today? Good afternoon. Happy, well, I guess it's good evening. It's Tuesday night already. I thought I'd have a really good idea for you guys tonight. I'm really super excited about it. I actually was going to do this on our ovals, uh, but we have since uh, sold out of these. But I do have a couple in my possession, so if you really, really want an oval, let me know. Shoot me a private message. Comment below. Um, they're gone. They are gone for good, I believe. I don't think they're being restocked. Um, so these were the ovals. I'm good, Kathy. Good, Jane. I'm glad to hear. Um, this was that door decor bundle that they had with the address, and it would say, welcome to our home or my home. Um, so then they took out the actual oval and sold these separately. So if you need one, give me a shout. Um, also, here is our cute little skunk. Uh, this is from the Woodland Animals. It's done on our Couture Boutique chalkable chip shapes. However, those have also sold out. Um, but you can find them in wood cutouts um, on the Etsy shop decor cutouts. It's all one word. Um, and if you can't, drop me a note about that as well. Or you can do it on paper. We have the chalk suede paper that you could chalk it on and then just fussy cut around. But wouldn't that be cute? Okay, it reminds me of the Bambi movie, right? with a little skunk, how uh, they were always in the flowers. So I thought that would be cute if you wanted the skunk with a couple little flowers surrounding it. Um, okay, Kathy. Um, or you can just choose not to. But for tonight's project, we are not going to do the skunk, but I'm going to use some wood cutouts and two of the four transfers from the Look on the Sunny Side transfer. Uh, this one says, you belong among the wildflowers. And then there's an assortment of eight flowers. And it says, blossom, flourish, grow, thrive. I'm not going to use those words today. We're just going to use the cutouts for the flowers and the words, you belong among the wildflowers. I just, I really like these two together. I think they make sense to me. Um, so I really enjoy looking at those together. Okay. All right. Let's clean up our space here a second. Um, I'm also, I think, only going to use, so when I do some cutouts, I kind of will do a background piece and then the top piece because the top piece comes a little bit tighter onto the transfer, meaning tighter to the design and you get more detail. So like the letters are cut out if they have space in the O or a P, that kind of thing. 
Also with flowers, um, it'll kind of give you some division. You could see here, um, there's no divisions there, whereas you get a lot of detail there. So that being said, I think I'm only going to do all the top pieces. You can also just chalk this design onto the background pieces too. That's perfectly fine as well. All right, but we're gonna put those aside. I thought also, if you guys don't like the one big uh, box frame, you could do two of our rectangle simple shapes. So you'd have one on one, you'd have one on the other. You could punch holes on it and then kind of thread them together and make it a hanging sign. That would be cute too. So all good ideas. If you take your mobile device and open your camera app and scan that QR code that you see on the screen, that will load um, all of the Chalk Couture products that we're using. Everything but the chalk base, because I feel like that's more of a um, personal choice than instead of me just throwing colors out there and you not wanting them, and then you take them out of your cart and that kind of thing. So don't forget to add chalk colors. All right, let's see. We'll put that one there here. All right, so here's our transfers. And first things first, let's go ahead and we need to paint, um, give these kind of like a base coat. So let's do that. We'll put this aside. Bring over our ink mat because this will hold down our pieces. Also take note which direction your flowers are going so that you don't paint the wrong side. I'm just gonna kind of plop these on my mat so it holds it for me. And then we're just gonna plop those down, push them down a little bit. And then you belong among the wildflowers. Okay, I'm also going to use a real nice paint. It's a two-in-one actually, it has um, like a primer in it and the color. So you don't really have to use too many coats of it. Okay, let's see. Let me grab, see if I have a foam brush here. I like painting with foam brushes. I feel like I get a good result with those. I'm trying to find a smaller one. There we go. Let's use that one. Foam brushes come in all kinds of different sizes. They're doing good, Kathy. They're actually doing really well. They're, um, we're maybe down to one mistake a day. So that's fantastic. They're really getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it, right? I mean, it's not just always their fault. Sometimes it's ours. So we just have to be on top of them and make sure, uh, that we grab them and get them out. But they're doing really good. They're sleeping pretty good. We're starting starting the separation process. Um, they're in their own cages at night. And they go to sleep fairly well. Sometimes they cry just a little bit to go to bed. Other times, they just kind of lay down and go to bed. And they, they sleep about seven hours, so it's like 11 to six. Now, I am not a morning person, <laughs> but it is kind of nice seeing their cute little faces in the morning. But they are doing good. Thank you so much for asking. How's your daughter doing? That paint is that same company that we've talked about before. It's the um, Heirloom heirloom all-in-one paint and I can't remember how I shared that uh, link before but we'll we'll get that I will comment with the link after we're done here all right so let's get these painted this seems to be the same color of the wood but that's okay I just want a nice base coat does not have to be a noticeable base color. Of 
course, you can paint them white, you can paint them black, whatever you choose to do. Okay. Lots of pieces here. And they're not, it's not like they're big, you know, just big one piece pieces. They're little pieces and they're intricate here. Good, I'm glad to hear that. I am glad to hear that. All right. Kathy, did you want the kits where it comes with the two transfers where it says, all, you know, like the address numbers and then the other one says, welcome to our house. Or did you just want the oval um, surface? All right, one more to go here. And we'll make sure they're nice and dry. And then we will give them a little waxing and buffing and then we'll get to chalk okay I gotcha okay okay just a little coat of some color here. Trying to get whatever excess off I see or kind of smooth it out so it'll dry a lot quicker. Some of these are almost dry already. All right, let's put that aside. You can even paint our double-sided box frames. This is a nine by 12. These can be painted. You don't have to keep it white, but we do have a side that is stained, right? So that could go on top of there. If you wanna keep it very, very neutral, you can do that. I'm gonna do it on the white side today. All right, let's get these dry. We're gonna use the quick dry tool. We want our paint nice and dry, and then we'll wax it, and then we can chalk on it. Move that one because some. Um, paint went through the E and it kind of made a puddle. Now this is our ink mat and it really doesn't like heat. So it will kind of warp uh, as you're blowing hot air on it. I don't know if you guys can tell on the video or not, but it is kind of waving as I'm going over the sections. It does not like to be hot at all. Not even a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna grab a paper towel because that's how I like to work with the wax. Oh, and actually, I think I need to open a wax. Let me find one. I forgot I threw mine out yesterday in the empty can here, so let me try to find one real quick. Let's see, I don't think, I think this is our old wax. I took our old wax and melted it all down. Yeah, that's our old wax.
I know I have extra wax. Oh, I think I know I have extra wax, guys. Give me a second. to just use our old one for now. I know I have some. I guess I kept pulling from the drawer and didn't realize that I was, took the last one. All right, so let's get this one open, which I just jammed it, so hold on. <laughs> Whoa, we're a hot mess here. Okay. Our old wax is stinky. know if it's coming on the, I don't even think it's coming out. Okay. Okay. We're going to go without wax today, guys. <sighs> oh no. No, it's not that bad. It's not that big deal, but I like it. I just like it. I feel better. Okay. We're going to say wildflowers and that's part of the sunny side transfer. And this is belong among the wildflowers. Sunny side. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do the word first. So let's get these off. Now be careful too when you're handling these um, the wood is a good uh, material. However, there could be some weak points in it. There might be, you know, like a knot in the wood or an imperfection. There's not, I don't, I rarely see imperfections. Um, but there might be a section where there's a little weakness. So just be careful when you're handling them. Let's push all the flowers aside. And bring over the letters or the words and we're just gonna remove that let's see grab my light box now sometimes this light box is helpful and sometimes it is not so let's see let's do wildflowers first now I'm not fuzzing my transfer because doesn't feel all that sticky to me. I mean, it's sticky, but I don't think it's going to be um, bad. All right, and then I'm going to do, I think, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to do it. Do I want to do it in black? I think I might want to do it in our pesto because the pesto, I'm going to do all the flower stems and I feel like that will make things blend or make sense to me. If not, we can always go over it again with black if we need to. All right, I'm just taking my um, multi-tool here. We're just gonna apply that. It's such a little piece of cut out that you really don't need a huge squeegee. And you kind of want to be able to control it a little bit because we don't want to get the words up there. We don't want that to get chalked just yet because we're just working on this one first. All right, so once I have it all coated, we'll take that excess off. 
Okay, back of the jar. Make sure you're kind of hitting the edges there. Okay. Let's just put that there. Okay, let's take this off. Missed a spot, so let's get some more. Again. There we go, that's better. See, I'm telling you, the wax makes a difference, friends. It's coming up in a couple places, so let's try that again. The wax just gives the chalk, something to sit on top of, something to grab onto. Okay, there we go, okay. And I think I might do it in black. The green does not really show up that well. So we'll wash that transfer and then we'll redo it in black. All right. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not horrible, but I think I would prefer black. Just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think you can see it better or enough? Get it tipped just right. What do you guys think? Do you like the green or should I do it in black? All right. Let's do You Belong Among The in black and see what the difference is. All right, so we're going to line those up. See if it's a better look or not. All right, let's get the long under there. Black. Kathy says she can see it. We'll do these in black and we're going to see. go from there. Okay. All right, let's get another squeegee. I think I'm going to use a small squeegee for the, or a mini squeegee here. Grab some black, black velvet, in case you're liking the colors I use. Gosh, I really wish I had my wax might have one in a drawer, a different drawer. I'll have to check. Just really feel better about using wax. I know some people swear against it, but boy, I swear it makes all the difference. If you are com commenting, and I'm not seeing your comments, hello, Miss Mary. Um, it's probably because you're watching within a group and you're not on the main page. If you hit the actual video, 
then you'll be able to come on over to the page and I can see your comments there. Otherwise, I'll check out um, the groups and I will answer you after. Okay. Black definitely shows up better. However, the green is not that bad. So I think I'm gonna leave it as is and we're gonna just do it like that. All right, so everything washes up with water, so we're gonna just put that to the side. I am, however, gonna just clean this up for a second here. Okay. And then those can dry. And then we're gonna line up our flowers. Okay, let's turn that off for a moment. So here's Among. I think the black shows up better. I do, I do, I do. Okay. So here's all our flowers and we're gonna line up all of our flowers. Give me one second. I'm gonna look for wax because I feel naked without it. Let's see here. Oh, I found one. I knew I had one. And it's in the gold pandemic jar. Ah, this makes me feel so much better. So much better. Okay. Let's do that. Let's get our flowers. And we're gonna wax them. Uh, make sure I keep these the right way. Because it's sometimes easy to just have these flip and you're doing it on the wrong side. It happens. It happens. Okay, put that over there. Grab our paper towel. Okay. Ah, sweet wax. We're just going to grab a little bit. And I'm going to just kind of glide it over the flowers. And then we'll come back and buff it off, okay? But we're gonna let it sit there for like a minute. By the time we come back to it. But the wax acts like a nice little barrier between your wood surface or a porous surface and your paste and the transfer. It really does, it'll help your transfer um, not stick to it so much. But those were kind of problems in the past, you know, years ago, a couple of two, three years ago. Um, if the transfers were really, really sticky, they would hold on real tight to our wood products and then we were ripping stuff and uh, things have gotten, oh, excuse me, so much, so much better. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of rub it. Again, just be careful. Okay. There might be some edges that are compromised here. I'm just kind of rubbing it over over it real quickly. The friction and the warmth of it kind of softens it up a little bit, helps it spread. Get it into all those little nooks and crannies of the wood. A couple more here. And then one more. All right, good. Good, good. All right, let's bring over those flowers. Let's take it off our pa uh, backer sheet here. And then we're gonna turn our light table on. 
That just helps me. Our transfers are very um, translucent. We're going with a new transfer material. Um, but it also does kind of help to have a little light. So now we're gonna match up these flowers again. Sticky, sticky. See, our transfers are very sticky. Okay, let's see, I gotta find the right one now. I think that's this one. Yep. So I'm just gonna kind of put that down and we're gonna line them all up. And we're gonna place that down. Okay. Okay. Let's see. How about we stick it just on the bottom and then we can just kind of tuck them in there as we're going here. This guy is super duper sticky here. Maybe that won't work. Guys, I do this all the time. It looks like I have never done this before. <laughs> My gosh. Okay. Can line that all up. Rub it down. How's everybody doing tonight? Tuesday night. Tonight is garbage night for us. Again, the wood cutouts can be found on Etsy. It's a store called Decor Cutouts. Um, if you can't find something, give me a holler. I can direct you to it. And um, if you need anything else, of course, then just ask. Okay, we're getting close. Now I'm gonna keep it to a very simple palette. I'm not um, using a ton of different colors. We're kind of sticking with the teals and corals. Last one here. There we go. All right, all rubbed down. Okay, there we go. Bring you in nice and close there. Okay, let's start with, we're gonna go one by one because then I'm gonna take them out as we go. Oops, we can turn that off. There we go. I'm going to take this stem up to that first flower. Easy peasy, chalk on, chalk off. We're going to make these, I'm going to do like one color each and I'm going to go back and forth. So let's make that, I don't even know if these colors exist on these flowers, but they do today. All right, this is Rust. This was one of our En Vogue colors in the fall. Um, I believe it's in the last chance category if it's not already gone. Okay, there's that. Let's see how we did. Ooh, so pretty. Now 
isn't that a pretty flower? Look how cute. Okay. Let's put that over there to dry. Let's go on to our next one. What are these like, oh, what do they call those? The little bonnets, something bonnets. I'm gonna try to get close to the flowers, the little things hanging there. All right, then our next color is, let's do, ah, let's do couture coral, or couture teal. I'm gonna get a wipe. And we're just gonna wipe that one tool off every time. Lily of the Valley, that's it. So it should be white, but I'm gonna do it, a, I'm gonna do it teal, because I want to. We're gonna grab a little bit of our teal and we're gonna just hit those flowers. Okay, that's that. Close that guy up. <laughs> okay, yep, you heard it from me. There's our little lily of the valley. Cute little guys. Okay. Next. This looks almost like a dandelion to me. So do you, do you call wildflowers wildflowers or do you guys call them weeds? What do you call them? And then this one is called papaya. So we're gonna go with papaya next. And I'm just gonna alternate. We're gonna go back and forth. Jeez, I am like, my hands are not working tonight. Cute. Little flowers. Okay. Let's get this one. This is really all there is to it, guys. I'm, I think I'm gonna go with, um, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go with Peach Cobbler. We're gonna try to keep these in that coral tone. So let's grab that one. I was gonna alternate, but then I saw that it was the same flower. So we're gonna just change it up on its color a little bit. Changing it up. This is one of our new En Vogue colors as well. Peach Cobbler. Sounds yummy. All right, let's get that guy out. Press that one down. So cute. Okay, four more. And these little stems are so 
petite and delicate. Okay, um, then we'll do, let's do Tide for that one. Nice dark color. Of course, we're gonna use the Academia, or Academia, which is our color of the month color. We'll use that one eventually here. Okay. So I'm just wiping the same multi-tool with a wipe here. flower out. Keep pressing those down as they come out. All right. Let's do the stem. This looks like a little daisy to me. A little baby daisy. That one will do our last color, or no, we're gonna save guava for here. So this one we're gonna do, let's see, we did these. Let's do a light color. Let's do, this is our other eggshell blue. This is our other En Vogue color. We'll use that here. Access back and wipe. Let's get our excess off. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do, or no, we got to get it out. It doesn't even look like I chalked it. It's so light. go so cute that there two more to go this one's gonna be guava done. Get my hot glue gun on. Uh, I probably just drained the battery. It looks like I left it on. Okay, let's get this off. And then we have our last. Ooh, that one turned out really pretty. It's guava. We got our last one here. Okay, kind of chalk it on, get that excess off. This one has a little bud on it, so that'll be cute. Good one to end with academia. Okay. Close these guys up. Sure, Kathy, I could do that. I sure can. So the words, you, among, you belong among the wildflowers, and then all the flowers. 
for the flowers, do you want the bottom piece as well? Like the background piece, or do you want just the pieces I'm using here today? Okay, let's get one more clean here. Grab our Academia. It's kind of like Tide, but it's more, it has more blue in it. It's a very pretty color. It, I want to say, if it's not the Pantone color of the year, it's somebody else's color of the year. I, I know like they're the bright pink, like a raspberry color was somebody's color of the year. And then this dark bluish green, greenish blue color was also flowers. Okay. Okay, I'll text you or message you. All right. There we go. So cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get this pushed aside here. And we should probably clean that real quick. And it looks like my battery is dead, so we're gonna get a new battery too. Hopefully, otherwise I'll have to do that after I charge my battery. Clean. They did turn out so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So we're going to bring this over. Slide off our flowers. Let's give them a little shot of warm air just to make sure they're nice and dry, especially the last couple that we did. Make sure they're nice and dry. I love that they're all kind of in the same family, like the blue or the green blues are in the same family. And then we have our corals and peaches. Now, it doesn't really matter the order of the words, or the order, I'm sorry, you belong, the order of the flowers, but we will keep it true to the, to the um, transfer here. I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit. There we go. So let's see, we have this one first. And we had this one that came next. Then our really light, light blue. And our tide. And this one. And then this one, and then that one, and that one. Okay, perfect. So, I am probably not going to be able to get these um, glued down, but this is probably how I would arrange it. Okay. You belong among the wildflowers. How's that look, guys? And you could play with these flowers too. You could bring them all the way down if you wanted to. What would be really fun is if you did bring them all the way down or at least gave a, you a little space here. Or even bring it up where we had it. Um, one way you can help with alignment as well is if you wanted to chalk the design first on your surface uh, do it in a really light color. Do it in like white, but add a little bit of black so it's kind of barely there and chalk it on your surface. And then you'll know exactly where your pieces parts go. 
But you can leave it like that and then put some moss on the bottom. Maybe I'll do that. I'll kind of glue in some moss. Oh, I like it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's demo and got some really good ideas about what to do with this transfer. So many things you guys can do with these. You can put it on mirrors and glass and, oh gosh, kitchen towels. Anything you desire, you can do. Mugs, you could just take a couple of these flowers and ink them on a mug. How cute would that be? All right, so you don't have to use the transfers in its entirety. You could use pick, you know, pick pieces out, um, or you can do the whole thing. So hopefully that will get your imagination going. I appreciate you being here tonight and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks so much. And Kathy, I'll be